Hello everybody, yeah, this is Charles Harper and I want to welcome you to this little presentation I'm going to do about your online reputation. And uh, what I want to do is really give you some idea of what you should be looking for in terms of what people are saying about you online as well as some things that you can and should be doing both about what people are saying online as well as what you should be doing with what people say are saying about you online and I've titled this presentation your online reputation I'm going to show you a few things online so if you follow the presentation or if my attention gets diverted to another screen or slightly to the right if it looks a little weird it's because I'm looking at another screen so that's just so that you'll know uh, what's what's going on now um, <clears throat> In terms of your online reputation, you probably want to know, you're probably hearing about this concept or idea called um, reputation management. Well, let's not get caught up into the semantics of it. I'm going to tell you why your online reputation is important, and it's right there on the screen. Really, um, in most surveys, and I'm just going to give you one statistic um, that really lines up with all the other statistics out there that are talking about reviews and what they mean. Now, 72% of surveyed consumers say that they trust online reviews um, over the recommendations of their friends. So, in other words, when people are looking for business, they almost three out of every four per people instinctively trust the reviews that they're reading about businesses online or in other words they'll go to look for a business and one of the first things that their eyes are trained toward is well what are other people saying about them um, on a online so so you might say now um, that may or may not necessarily be important and you want to know what your customers are saying about you in two primary areas and I'll tell you why that's important uh, you want to make sure that you know uh, what customers are saying about your product or service on Yelp.com as well as Google Plus now the reason that you'll want to be you'll want to know what people are saying about you in Yelp is because it is the largest and the most uh, and, and the most uh, widespread and well-known review site that there is probably in the world and they've done a very good job of making sure that they put themselves in a position for customers to review businesses now you may not have even looked at where your company ranks or what others are saying about you in Yelp but you definitely want uh, to find out um, if you haven't looked there uh, prior to today one of the first things that you'll need to do when you finish this presentation is check out what companies are, or people are saying about your company in Yelp.com now the other one is Google Plus and Google Plus is probably even though at this point it's probably not as as widespread and well known and, and, and used by customers as is Yelp but you definitely want to understand what's going on with Google Plus and you want to know what customers are saying as well as what they have the opportunity uh, to talk about there now you might wonder now why is Google Plus so important well it's really simple and you probably have it you probably experienced it yourself in that most of us when we go and we want to look for information whether it's about a business or whether it's about whether it's research that we're doing 68 percent of all searches worldwide take place on Google 68 percent now that's important and that's just about two-thirds of all the searches that take place every single day take place on Google so the fact that Google um, is is has has taken uh, the business directory concept and inserted its business into it means that this is something that if you're not taking seriously right now you're going to have to take it seriously and you'll notice that I've said that we're talking about Google Plus now Google Plus at this point is not near okay first of all Google Plus is a social network you ha and if you haven't joined you should probably join today now it's not as well known or widespread as Facebook 
but it is slowly growing and what Google has now done is they've said that if you want to participate in the review of a business as a consumer you have to be part of Google Plus and so what they've done is they've connected their social network to their business network so that while people are socializing they're also able to have discussions about the businesses that they frequent much different model than Facebook and so what this means to you as a business owner is you've got to make sure that your profile on Google Plus is reflective of who you are as a business and reflective of what it is that you want other customers to say about you so if you don't know right now and I'm gonna show you here and again uh, don't be alarmed if you'll see my attention being diverted to another screen I'm going to show you now what it means to have a have yourself rated and what that rating means on the you know on the Google search engine and within Google Plus now let's take a look uh, right now I'm gonna show you this here on my screen and again okay I'm, I'm gonna look it's gonna look weird because I'm gonna gonna switch over to the other screen right now now what you're looking at right now obviously um, is a search bar and I'm just going to type in now let's pretend that you and I were looking for a dentist in Harrisburg dentist in Harrisburg PA now you may not be looking for a dentist and it may not be your business but let's just say that we were if we looked for a dentist in Harrisburg and we were to come across the um, the listings here you'll notice in the middle of the screen where I've got my cursor that Google Plus has placed several businesses that are within uh, within driving distance for me so now what does that mean that means then that I can select one of these businesses to start taking a look at now which one uh, would stand out well at this point none of these businesses in particular stand out and I'll tell you why and I'll tell you one of the things that they could do about it so if you know any of these dentists you could probably tell them what I'm about to tell you right now one of the things that's very important for a business to be able to do is to make sure that they have reviews and again if the statistic is true and 72 percent of us trust the online reviews even over above the recommendations of friends then that means then that the companies that have reviews are probably gonna be a little more trustworthy right in the mind of people remember all these decisions are taking place in a split second right they're taking place in a split second in people's mind the first look could quite possibly go to the company that has reviews when people have no reviews and I want to go over this right here just for a second one of the things that I ask companies uh, or, or business owners all the time is whether or not they actually have a reputation and they say well of course I have you a reputation what does that mean Charles well in all actuality let's take a look at these companies if I instinctively will look at one of these companies first the ones that have reviews then it's almost as if these companies that don't have reviews at all are invisible and it's almost as if they don't have a reputation even though they probably do even though they probably do a great job as you do but the companies that are visible to me when I'm looking for a service at least the, the, the statistics say I'm going to look for those businesses that already have reviews so you might say now if if I don't have bad reviews is that is that a good thing it could be however if you don't have any reviews that's not a good thing especially if you have other companies that do have reviews at all so in this first video and I don't want to overwhelm you we're gonna do a series of these you might be asking okay I don't have any reviews at all and as a matter of fact I don't even see my company um, in Google Plus 
what can and should you do? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to go over that in a series of videos. And I'm going to actually help you to not only determine what your reputation is, as well as what you can be doing about it. So here's what I want you to do. Um, if you want to follow this series, and I suggest that you do, um, you're probably looking at my video channel right now. Go ahead and subscribe to our video channel so that you get all of the videos uh, that are based that, that that are designed to help entrepreneurs to market their business. Now, if you're really concerned about this, right, and you don't want to wait until the next video, you don't want to watch the entire series, and you think you might need help with this, call me. My number's right there on the screen, and it's 717-412-1927. Just call and I'll be happy to give you some insight on some things you can do. Now the last thing you can do is you can get access to everything else we're doing, whether or not you want to hear our radio show with other entrepreneurs, you want to get access to our, uh, our live training, which takes place uh, downtown, or if you want to get access to our online training um, and you want to get access to that schedule, all you've got to do is to make sure to get on our mailing list, and you can do that. There's a link here. There's a link right here on the page. Click that link. That'll take you to the sign-up page for um, our email list, and then what? What you can then uh, then you'll then get access to everything that we're doing uh, as it's happening or before it's happening, so that again you can know uh, what you can do in order to successfully market your business. So, until our next video on on your online reputation, I look forward to talking to you soon. Thanks very much. Have a great day and a pleasant tomorrow. Take care.